this is the iFlight 120 RS and I have an issue. So I've only flown this twice, one full flight and the second flight maybe 20 seconds in, it just flipped out of nowhere. And I was running a 3S right here, China Hobby Line 3S, not a HV, just a normal 3S. And I think the ESC blue, one of the ESC blue, I think it's this motor here. And we're gonna debug it together. Maybe we'll be able to fix it. Maybe uh, we can figure something out. So I really wanted to go through this together here. So I'm gonna go into the motors tab and show you the issue. But before we begin, a word from our sponsor. PCBWay is one of the largest PCB manufacturers and is a really great place to have your PCB manufacturer. Whether you're a hobbyist or a company, it is a great place to go. They have fast service, great quality, great customer support, and a file pre-check service where they have a human actually check your file before proceeding with the printing service in order to reduce any chances of error. Not only that, they have assembly services and they have much, much more. So go ahead and check the links down below to PCBWay.com. So I think it's motor three. Now, if you, this is motor one right now, it's spinning just fine. Can you see that? Now I'm gonna spin motor three. You see, that's, that's not supposed to happen. So I'm just gonna bring this up closer to the camera so you can get a better idea. So this is motor three and now, upon visual inspection of the motor, it doesn't seem to be burned. So if the motor is broken, I have a motor here which we can test on. However, take something into consideration before you do anything like this. Make sure that the motor you're using, because uh, you know the ESC could burn the motor as well. So keep that in mind and be very careful. For example, this is a T-Motor Racer Star set. I've got eight of them, so it's okay if one goes bad. I don't have a problem. So our current issue is with this part right here, with this uh, this motor. So give me a second, I'm just gonna place this motor in and see if it'll boot. And then from there, we'll take out the board and take a look at the FETs, the voltage dividers, the FET driver, and just everything we could possibly see in order to see if we can hopefully figure out the issue. All right guys, so I've gone ahead and placed a new motor. The battery's connected. I'm gonna log into Betaflight and we'll see what the issue is. Now, if everything works, then it's the motor. So the motor died on the second flight, which is not a good thing, but it's better than the ESC dying, but we still don't know what, what is what right now. All right, so here's motor three, which is this one. And it's working. It's working, yeah. So the problem here is with the motor. So the motor died. The motor died here on a 3S second flight ever, no turtle mode, this is what happened. So in turtle mode, you're definitely gonna burn a motor. Uh, if, if just in a normal flight, I burn this motor on the second flight, you know, which is um, it's kind of a shame, but it's better than the ESC here because that'll just be a little bit easier and cheaper for you to replace. You know, you're not supposed to run 4S, uh, a 3S on 10,000 KV, I mean, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that iFlight was able to make an ESC that withstands that, but I can't even answer that yet, to be honest, because I've only had two flights. Yeah, so I was pl planning on putting a bunch of time on this because the first flight looked great and I need something small to fly around the park because I am not allowed to fly on the field anymore. Uh, I have been framed to have done something which I, I, I didn't do and I wasn't there and I was in the hospital with my son when that, whatever happened. So uh, I think it's just a way for them to tell me they don't want me to fly there, even though I don't bother anyone, but that's totally fine. So I'm gonna have to f look for a new place. But meanwhile, I was planning on flying this thing. However, like this, I can't trust it. Um, the ESC part seems to be good, but the only thing I can do really now is just change out the motors to something else. I think I have some SZ speeds and I have these T motors here. I think maybe we'll put these T motors, uh, T motor racer stars. Uh, they come in a pack of eight, so it's a good budget line motors. In terms of price, I've never tested them, so I can't answer that. Um, but maybe they'll last longer and uh, it'll give me time to put more time into the whole setup with these motors and I can come back in with a nice review of everything for like an update video. Uh, so overall, just be careful. I don't recommend you fly this on a 3S, even though it's rated for a 3S. To be honest, when, when, I, when I burned it, I was like, wait, I was in the field, I didn't know. I was like, maybe this is just rated up to 2S. And then I came back and I look, it says 3S. So um, obviously something happened here and it's not my fault. So second flight, I mean, that would really f piss somebody. I would be pissed off on the second flight. It flips and the motor just goes out. So just be careful, maybe buy an extra motor if you're purchasing this or if you purchase this and haven't flown it much. 
or you're flying it on a 2S and you're planning on upgrading to a 3S, I recommend you buy an extra motor or two. And um, I think the props are too, too, too much for these motors and the setup on a 3S personally. That's it guys, I'll have everything linked down below if you can click those, those greatly support the channel and enable me to do more things like this. And um, yeah, and if you could support me on Patreon, that'd be super awesome. Hopefully someday we get a bad ESC and then we could start debugging and trying to fix it. So I'm just going to leave it at that, guys. I don't want to keep rambling on here. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. And if you found this useful, please use the links down below. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.